Ho! What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. We're in it. <laughs> Let's resume this game. We just, in the last episode, obviously, if you didn't see the last episode, make sure you go back and watch it. Uh, so, spoilers from here on out. Obviously, Six was taken by Tall Man. And we learned that we had new powers, being able to get in and out of TVs. We just full-on force <laughs> destroyed Tall Man, or at least incapacitated him. And now we are inside the massive tower that we were looking at before. And this leads to the eyeball door. Oh, cool. Sweet. So this is what's been inside. Ooh, it's all wobbly. This is what's been inside the TVs and those... They weren't visions, but they were inside the TVs. Oh. Oh, oh this is so cool. <gasps> can I grab it? Oh, I can. Can I throw it? <laughs> what? Oh, this is so cool. All right, I'm excited for this. This feels like we're getting towards the end of the game. Um, <laughs> I know in the first game, it wasn't, it wasn't extremely long. Uh, it didn't need to be either. It was a great kind of short experience. <laughs> oh, so cool. No! Oh, okay. Okay, hi. Very dark, very weird. Whoa. More teleportation. Okay. Let's get on up these stairs. So where's this one going to open up to? Shwip. Okay. There's so many eyeballs in this place. They're real weird eyeballs too. Like, they're very freaky looking. Whoa! Yo, we playing Portal? <laughs> okay. So we gotta figure out a way around this then. What's up with this? Actually, let me keep walking backwards first. Nothing. So how many times is it going to loop back and forth like this, I wonder? I probably need to close the door, if I were to guess. Let's see. No, we can't close it. Hmm. So how many times do I need to walk through it, then? So music's coming from the left. There's no music here. Music to the left. There we go, following the music. Um, that looks like an infinite place of death. Just gonna say that. There's the music. No music here. Infinite death, yet again. <laughs> Go to the music one. Okay. Oh, this is so weird. I love this. You gonna send me up there? No. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. Huh. Alright. Yeah, the music was come from here, but... Ah, uh, I see. I see. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> so we got two more levels, potentially? Upstairs? 
Oh, that's a lot of doors. Okay. Interesting. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. So this is gonna help us go across? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I think I can push this over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. All right, through here. And then back through again this way. Through this one. Not here. Through here. Also, what is in the background? This is the last set of stairs? It looks like it, at least. Oh. Oh, I hear something on the left. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, oh I don't like that. I'm gonna go over here first. <laughs> Alright, let's just see what's over on this side. There's another door. It's over here. Okay, what happens if I go in this room? Just sends me back here, okay. Good to know, I guess. Uh, do I have to squeeze through or can I open it? Okay. Oh. oh! Oh, 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 This is the music box or the same music that was being played by Six when we first met her in the room. Oh! Six? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Hi? Are you okay? <laughs> um... Can I give you something in return? Do you like Ducky? Ducky! Okay, um... What can I give you? Oh, this place is... Real weird. Press Q to call. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Bear. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna walk around you, you know? Oh no. Oh, why am I using the mallet? Oh, look at those baby dolls in the background. Oh, I hope I have to smash this and not her hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. Oh, oh she's upset. She's upset. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh! She's so fast. What the heck? What the heck? Okay, go. Just run. Just run. I stayed in there too long. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Six. Oh, no, no, no. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, I'm sorry, Six. I'm sorry. Oh, just got s just absolutely smashed there. Okay, let's try it again. We're not going to run into the door jam. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what the heck is going on? Go, 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 go! Oh, oh! This is a big nightmare, this is not a little nightmare! <laughs> what are you 
to check. Oh, don't, don't look under here. Don't look under here. Please don't look under here. Oh, six, what happened? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I need to find an axe. Oh, the axe is literally right there. I need to open that door up. I need to open that door up. I need to open that door up. But first, what's up with this door? Okay, can't push it. Can I jump up there? Oh, I can. Cool. Okay, let's pick it up. Let's open it up. Hop, hip. Hip, 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 hop. Hip it, hop, hip, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa! I called out to her and she just freaked out. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I understand. Go, 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 go! Sorry, sorry! Oh, we have to run again? You okay, Mono? I really hope this is saving six rather than hurting her. Where am I? Where am I going? Okay. Nice. Where does this take me? Mm, how do I get up there? This way? <laughs> it's just absolutely wrecked right there. All right, here. Call out right there. Bring this up here. Oh, my. oh, what? Okay, wow, she got me through that. That was crazy. So I, le I leave like a little scan line glitch when I do that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm sorry. <sighs> this is so weird. This is so weird. Let's go, Mono. Okay. Is there another door to smash? Oh. What? They're everywhere. We're still kind of moving in slow mo, too. Which is weird. Alright, is this going to take us to another fight? Okay, it is. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, how am I gonna do this? Go, 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 go! I'm not too sure what to do with this. Like, can I jump up here? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so I can't naturally walk up any of this first. All right. Ah, crap, crap, oh. oh, 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 I understand, I understand, I understand. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, 
Okay. Come here. on through the portal. Okay. Okay. Let's pick it up. Let's go. I'm sorry, Six. I know you really like your music player. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, I missed it. Alright, let's try it again. All right, just get up on your two feetsies. Pick up the Zax. Why is she massive? I want to know why she's massive. I was going to wait to call out until it was closer, but apparently that's not an option. Oh, her arm twists in such a weird way. Okay, now I know what to do. Get up here, and then I got to call out, like, right now. And then smash it. One more? Six? Are you okay? You think she's okay? Grab my hand. Or not. Never mind. Oh, there's eyeballs in here. What the heck? Oh. What is this? Oh, 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 go faster! Oh, go faster! What the heck? <laughs> what is this? Ow. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry! Come on, go up, go up, go up! Come on, come on, come on! Come on, Mono! Come on, Mono! Okay, uh, I got knocked over. I got knocked over. Come on, get up, get up, get up! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! What? Why did she drop me? Did he did I slip or did she drop me? Oh, this is disgusting. I'm calling out for her, but she's not here. Oh, this is so weird. Where am I going? Oh, hi. What is it? Oh, eyeball.
can look around. No, 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 no. No, no way. There's no way. There's no way. They're not going to do it to us. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We were the tall man the whole time? And that's what was locked behind the eyeball door! We're gonna come out of the TV right now with the camera pan? Or is it just gonna end like this? <gasps> I can still look around. I guess I'll talk about it while the credits are rolling. So we were the, the tall man the entire time. And we only became the tall man because Six left us when we were in the tower trying to escape. She left Mono down below to to rot, to whatever, but he just sat on a chair and grew older and older and taller. And... And he was locked away in the eyeball room inside the TV. And the only reason we saw the tall man was because we ourselves went into the TV and opened the door to free him. So, was the TV turning on and those visions, was that us calling out to ourselves to try to let us go free? And even if it, even if that was, oh my gosh, office dogs. <laughs> and even if that is the case, we literally created a perfect time loop for ourselves where this will always happen over and over and over again. Because, like, <sighs> once we're freed from the TV, we are then hunting for ourselves and Six. We capture Six, she turns into this grotesque, large monster thing, and then 
it just leads to the same outcome every single time. Uh, <laughs> they need to make DLC for this game immediately. <laughs> I need to see what happens further. Because this is... We assume this is a sequel because it's Little Nightmares 2, but like we don't actually know because is this Six's origin story? Is it just part of her story after she escapes from the ship? Like what if after she goes into that final TV door, basically, that's the start of her in the first game? And she, she's always been a little weird in these games. Like she eats one of the gnomes. She absolutely obliterates everyone on the ship in the first game. Um, after she gets like the powers as well, if I'm remembering that right. And like, ah, <laughs> oh. Oh, I did not want that to end. I did not want that to end. Dang. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should wait till after the credits in case there's anything further. Um, like maybe like an after scene credit. Because there was in the first one. Yeah, that definitely was in the first one. And, and also too, I just wanted to say... Uh, for all of these videos, I've been doing like chapter at a time. I didn't anticipate this chapter to be so short. So apologies if <laughs> if it's just such a short little video for this ending. Um, I, I think it was worth it to, to kind of get through this and have it be its own little episode. Otherwise I would have been just like mind blown in over two hours for the last episode. Um, but <laughs> you live and learn, it's cool. So I I'll go ahead and let this roll out for the remainder of the credits and I'll, I'll hop back in here to give some either final thoughts or explain what's going on after the after credits. So be right back. Okay, it looks like we're at the end of the credits here. Let's see if anything happens. <sighs> That's it. That's it. Dang it. Oh, man. Oh, that was insane. That was absolutely insane. So, <sighs> no hats, no nothing here on the final chapter. <sighs> what do I do? I, well, while the credits was rolling, I decided to look up just kind of what other people's thoughts were on the ending of this game and one of the one of the general kind of theories or things that was mentioned is that uh, and that very last jump we're, we're holding on to six and she's about to bring us up and then lets us go um, she, the reason why she lets go is she finally gets a chance to look at us and we're not wearing a hat um and what people are kind of theorizing is she finally gets a good look at us and realizes either who we are, that we're related to the tall man, or she knows what we're going to become because of it. And that's why she lets go, hoping to kill us. But the big twist is that she created the tall man altogether. And it's tragic. It is absolutely tragic. I was rooting for Mono the entire time. Their wonderful friend relationship, holding, literally holding hands, helping each other throughout this whole thing. And Six, if she had just saved us in that last jump, she would have broken the cycle. And that's what I think is the most tragic thing about the story. It was wonderful. Uh, don't mistake tragedy for wonderful. Um, that was the most tragic thing of all, is that she could have stopped the cycle and they could have gone away together. But as as we have learned in Little Nightmares games, the first one and the second one, 
these games are not full of happy endings and like, oh, this is a nice, warm, it warms my heart <laughs> kind of ending. And I, I don't think they could have done anything better with this. Uh, it was it was perfect for what this game embodies, what the feel of this game, the the emotions of this game warrants. Just perfect. It's just so well done. Um, <clears throat> and if you look back at everything that was happening in the game prior, you can see these hints that you are the tall man. Um, because the tall man uses TVs, we're the only ones who use TVs. We have these hand powers that we blast things or we control stuff with, we can go through TVs, and the tall man has, I guess, some type of hand powers where he grabs six and captures her. And it, it's, there's just so many little, little hints at it. <laughs> little, little hints too. Little nightmares too. And uh, it was still such a twist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was so good. It was so good. That was such a fun game to play through. I I definitely really, really hope that they have some more DLC that will be coming out in the near future. Uh, maybe it will continue Six's storyline? Or maybe it's going to do what Little My Nightmares 1 did, which it gives us a different perspective of Mono's story. So we find out how the multiple like uh, ropes were created that helped us get down or get up. Uh, that's what they did in the first one. But I don't know how they're going to translate it to this game. Because in the first one, spoilers if you have not seen it, uh, in the first one in the DLC, you play as another little boy who is kind of going throughout the story of Six, but just slightly like ahead of her in the story. And then you get turned into uh, a gnome at the end of it. The, the the kimono lady is what I called her. She turns us into a gnome, which is then alluded to that Six is the one who eats a gnome and it ends up being the person that we're playing as in the DLC, which is just heartbreaking. Um, oh man, this is great. This is great. I, I really, really have anything else more to say um oh oh i did uh i did look it up because obviously in the chapter selections other than collecting hats we can collect the glitches and i've got most all of them actually um so i need one two three four i need six more which is not money um i was reading somewhere that there's another like secret ending if you get all of the glitches because normally and the reason I looked it up is because in the first game, you had an extras section where you could take a look at like artwork and stuff like that. And I didn't see that. And I was like, wait, what are these glitches for? Um, so I'm, I'll, I'll have to explore that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if, if I can make that into a full video, to, to be frank. Uh, I definitely can't do all of that right now and go back into every single chapter to go find them. I might do that in off time and then maybe like upload just like the secret ending part, give like a brief explanation. Um, but I would absolutely love to hear from all of you. Just knocked over my cup. <laughs> I'd love to hear from all of you. If you enjoyed this video and this series, make sure to hit the like button. I would love to see you all in the comment section down below. Throw out some of your thoughts, your feelings. How did you like this ending? Did you, was it just masterful? Was it awful? Was it heartbreaking? Was it the best ending you could think of? Did you? assume this was happening all along. Um, love to have a discussion with anyone and everyone down below in the comments. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification, that we know exactly what I'm uploading videos. And as always, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.